Yeah, look kiddo, I don't really know what our long term game is with all this. Just survive as best we can through the week, I guess. It's not like I'm one of those people who was super well prepared for the collapse of society. Preppers, I think they called them. But I mean, our situation could be a lot worse. I did download this ebook thing onto my phone about survival and... Oh, right. My phone was thrown away to distract that zombie in the library. Well, I just realized our situation is a tad bleaker than I thought. But yeah, like, from what I can remember of zombie games and movies and whatnot, people usually start looting and scavenging about now. After a few weeks go by, sometimes they start to get pretty violent and competitive about it. I don't think I've got what it takes to make my way through fighting other survivors over supplies. I mean, considering our place is surrounded by forest and stuff, I'm guessing we'll take a crack at hunting and farming. Not that I know the first thing about any of that. Wait! Oh my gosh! A gift my old roommate gave to tease me. It's gonna be a huge help to us now. <laughs> yeah, my roommate. The one I used to live with before you showed up. <laughs> well, he left a while before you showed up, actually. You get what I mean. The, the thing is, he... Well, when he was leaving, he was kind of teasing me a lot about how I was gonna have a really hard time making it financially without him paying his half of the rent and everything. <laughs> he, uh, bought me this book about the edible plants in the region, saying that I was gonna have to resort to that to feed myself. I was so mad about him teasing me about my lack of financial success back then, but that thing might well save our lives now. I am so grateful I have that book now. I wonder what happened to that guy in all this. No use thinking about it, I guess. It's not like I have a means to find out. Anyway, that's the place up ahead. Yeah, I don't see any zombies around. That's a good sign. Still, don't get reckless and run off ahead of me. I don't think we were the first people to get wise about the whole zombie situation. And then we were trapped in the library for quite a while. I mean, in theory, a zombie could have wandered out this far by now, right? Then again, people would also have been trying to flee town, right? So why didn't we see any other drivers? Or parked cars when we got here? Or crashed cars on the road? I mean, we drove out of town without trouble. So why is it so eerily quiet here? Stay sharp, okay? Something doesn't seem right. And while I'm not keen on the idea of tussling with zombies, you might want to grab something to defend yourself. Just in case. Man, I do not like that little bell announcing we're here in this situation. I mean, if there's any Zeds in here, we just tip them off. 
I guess that's something we might want to watch out for in future, huh? Maybe we could even set up something like that at our place. Could be a useful alert system. Is that thing removable? Not without a screwdriver, anyway. So I guess we'll probably make noise on our way out, too. Oh, good idea. Yeah, if we block the door, then this should stay open and shouldn't ring again. Then again... If the door's open, a zombie could just wander in. I say we block the door open, yeah. There's so few zombies around, I don't think leaving the door open is the dangerous option. Give me a minute, okay? I'm gonna take a look at this thing. See if I can figure out how it works. I see. I think I could make a simpler, more temporary version of this at our place with some string and a bell. Hey kiddo, let's make sure we pick up some string while we're here, okay? Kiddo? Kiddo? <sighs> Kiddo, there you are. Kiddo? Hey. What's wrong? Oh. I see. I'm so sorry, kiddo. I had my suspicions when he didn't call out when we came in, but... I shouldn't have fussed over that bell at the door. I should have come over here before you did. Maybe then I could have spared you from having to see this. Still, considering the world we're living in now... Coming across a dead guy was gonna happen at some point. All things considered, this is a pretty tame first experience with death. No, no, kiddo. Don't be scared. I'll admit, people are desperate right now, and someone did something wrong today. But look at this. I'm pretty sure it's just a sad accident. People aren't killing people in cold blood just yet. I know it's hard, but open your eyes and take a closer look. You see, there's no blood. He's clutching his chest and there's a bullet hole in the wall. I'll remind you, I'm no detective, but based on what I can see, I think what happened here is just a robbery gone wrong. Someone tried to scare him, fired a warning shot to try and intimidate him. That must have been enough to give him a heart attack. I think they even regretted it. They might have even felt serious guilt about that. I mean, look at the position of his fingers. I think someone was holding his hand when he died. And that smile on his face. It's like he's trying to comfort someone. <sighs> Rest in peace, old man. And I was really hoping we could get some advice from him, too. He knew a lot of stuff about, like, fishing and... You know, like, herbal folk remedies for medicine, that kind of stuff. And I guess that whole one last honest shopping trip before it all goes south. That's all gone out the window, too. I guess we're looting, huh? Not that we're the first ones from the look of things. I'd have expected it to be a lot more bare in here, but I guess a lot of people just wanted to get as far from the Zeds as possible. 
Not everyone would have stopped here to refuel or buy snacks on the way. And now that I think about it, there's not a whole lot of interest out this way. Most people probably would have fled north instead. So I guess... Even if we take stuff, we probably won't be inconveniencing other survivors who come here too much. I really wish we'd gotten to buy stuff honestly one last time, though. I can't believe it was just yesterday that I would have never, ever done stuff like take stuff from a gas station without paying for it. Life is changing too fast. I just... I hope the two of us can find a way to still be good people through all this. Let's... Let's get loading supplies into the car. We might even need to make a few trips. Really stock up, you know? And if we get the chance... Let's try to give him the burial he deserves, yeah? Alright. Let's... Let's get loading stuff up, okay? Here's a bag. Thank you. 